Hey everyone, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare an image for laser engraving on your new Jackback. So, let's switch over to the computer screen and we'll get right into it. Okay, so here we are on the Jackback's website. I've gone ahead and added my bamboo back to my cart and now I need to get my artwork ready uh, for etching. Uh, so you'll see here, uh, it says custom option, create your artwork and place it on the template and then upload it. And that's exactly what I'll be showing you guys how to do today. Um, we're gonna be using the .ai file. So if you click this link right here, it will automatically download the .ai for you. It's important to note that you will need Adobe Illustrator and or Adobe Photoshop uh, to complete the edits that we're going to be doing today. Uh, but that's not a problem if you don't have it. It's available for a free 30-day trial download um, and if we go over here to adobe.com slash downloads um, and right here you can click try and download illustrator and right here we can click try and download photoshop and that will give you free 30-day trials of those two softwares so go ahead and do that if you don't already have that and get those installed and then we'll move on to the next step all right once you got your software installed we are ready to go um, I want to jump back here to the website real quick and scroll down and point out under custom option here we have vector art etch vector art service and photo art etch vector art etch is what we're doing today um, vector art service is basically what we're doing today but uh, if you didn't feel like creating the artwork yourself uh, you want us to do it for you that's fine you just say hey I want this this and this and then we'll send you a mock-up and etch it for you and then photo art etch is for extremely high quality photos uh, if you want a picture of your face if you want a picture of your dog uh, we can do that and um, they'll come out nice high quality uh, here's an example right here of a picture of Steve Jobs um, so it turns out real nice um, but today we're gonna look at the vector art etches how to create them so uh, we've got Illustrator and Photoshop downloaded and installed and uh, next we just need to find our artwork so I'm gonna come over here to uh, Google and uh, I really like T-Rex dinosaurs so I wanna, I'm gonna say I want a T-Rex on mine so I'm gonna search for T-Rex and I'm not really interested in the Wikipedia result um, but I'm looking for images here we go and we could do something like this but uh, this would need a photo art etch um, but uh, so, so we're looking for vector art, which is more of a, a drawing or a cartoon. Now, a really easy way to find this type of artwork is to scroll down here and you'll see clip art or line drawing. Uh, now, clip art's going to give you all these different, uh, you know, cartoony type things. And then line drawing is going to do similar. It's going to give you basic line drawings. Now, these are going to be easy to, easy to edit um, and easy to work with. But uh, I know a particular image that I want to work with, um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find that one real fast. And let's scroll down here. There it is. So we've got, oh, not that one. There we go. We've got T-Rex flying an airplane, a little fighter jet here. And I just think this image is great. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and save this image as. Um, and now save that right to my desktop. And that'll save right to my desktop. And now I'm going to go ahead and open this image in Photoshop. Okay, so now that we've got our image selected, we're going to go ahead and open it up in Photoshop. And the first thing that we're going to do here is go ahead and take the image resolution and go ahead and change that. And right here under image, we go to image, image size, and then we're gonna change this resolution from 72 to 300 DPI. Go ahead, click okay. And that might change a little bit of, of what we see. Um, so I'm just gonna scale this back down a little bit so that we can see it here. There we go, so we, we can see it again. Um, basically what that did was it blew up the pixels, made everything bigger. 
uh, so we have something a little bit bigger to work with. So the next thing we're going to do is you'll notice that this is color. And the way that a laser works, a laser etcher works, um, it does not see color. It only sees black and white. And so what we're really only interested in is these black uh, lines. Um, the black lines are, are, are what we're gonna what we're gonna work with and, and what we're gonna get etched. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take all of the color out of this. And the way we're gonna do that, we're just gonna go ahead and click image again. And we'll go to adjustments. And then we'll go over here to desaturate. And that'll take all the color out of it for us. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, when we blew it up like that, it made everything a little bit pixely. Uh, and basically what we're gonna do is blur that just a little bit and then sharpen it. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up here to filter and then we're going to go to blur and then we'll go to Gaussian blur. Now you can play with the settings here a little bit um, and you're going to want to just blur it just a little bit so it's just a little out of focus. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now it's blurred a little out of focus. Uh, what we're going to do is tighten up those lines, get rid of all that gray, um, so we're just left with black and white. We don't want any gray, gray is bad here. Um, so we're gonna get rid of all that gray, tighten up those lines. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna play with the levels. Uh, if we go up here to, uh, I do believe it is image again. And then we're gonna go to adjustments, and then levels. And we should get this dialog box here. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and pull it in, and you'll see it gets much darker. And you, you can see when I pull it to the right, everything gets real dark. And if I pull it to the left, this will actually make things a little bit brighter. So the goal here is to get nice thick black lines that are going to be etched. I don't want anything too thin because then it may not get etched. So I like kind of about what we're seeing right here. Go ahead and hit OK. And now we've got a pretty good image. Completely black and white. There is a little bit of gray, but that's OK. It won't get selected. So the next thing we need to do is select this all, all of the black here. We want to get rid of the rest of the gray. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to go to select. And then I'm going to go to color range. And then I'll go right here and I'll say shadows and OK. And you can see that that has selected all of the darkest areas of the image. Now I'm going to come over, come over here to my layers and paths uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this paths tab on the right hand side here. Uh, and then I'm once I, once I click on the Pass tab, I can come over here and click on this drop-down arrow. Oh, you guys can't see that. Let me drag that over just a little bit so you guys can see it. So once I click on the Pass tab, I can click on the drop-down arrow, and then I'll select Make Work Path. I'm sorry, not New Path, Make Work Path. And then the tolerance, I'm going to keep it at 1. Uh, you can play with the different tolerances and see what kind of different effects you get. Um, but usually, uh, just keep it right at one. Hit OK. And what that's going to do is go ahead and create a path around all the black areas. I don't know if you can see that, but there's little lines around all those black areas now. Uh, so now we basically need to select these paths. And to do that, we need the path selection tool, which is an arrow as well. Uh, but it's down here, it's this arrow right here. And the shortcut for that is A, the letter A. And basically I'm going to start up here, click, drag, and just select all of those paths. Now, uh, all of my work here in Photoshop is pretty much done. Uh, after I select these paths, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, copy them. Uh, and I can do, it doesn't look like I can do a right click. Uh, so I'm going to basically copy this and then paste it in Illustrator. Um, and if we go to Edit and then we go to Copy 
or you can also use Command C. And then uh, pop over to Illustrator. And then uh, in Illustrator, let's go ahead and I've already got it open, but go ahead and open up the Jackbox etching template that you downloaded in the beginning. It should look similar to this. And then uh, click anywhere, and then we're going to go ahead and hit Edit and Paste. And this asks if I want a compound shape or a compound path. Let's stick with the compound shape. Hit OK. And we should see now that our paths have come in from Photoshop. Uh, but they're empty. We don't see any black and white. So we need to fill those. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to come over here and we have these boxes. And there's two little boxes right here. Just go ahead and click on those. And that will fill the path but it's filled opposite. So we need to flip those around. Uh, it's actually filled with white and has black outlines, as you can see. Um, if you, uh, so, so we need to, to flip it around, we need, we need to make it opposite. We can just hit these, this little double arrow elbow thing, and that flips it around. And now we can see we have black. Um, but it does have white outlines on it, and we need to get rid of those white outlines. So just make sure, you can see how you can select one of these squares, make sure the outline square is selected, and then click this little none box. Now that gets rid of the outlines, and we have some beautiful black artwork. So now we need to uh, basically take this, uh, we're gonna come up here and just scale it down. If, I, if you hold shift while you scale, it'll keep it uh, in the proper aspect ratio. And then we'll pull it over here and put it on our iPhone. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on the phone so I can see what I'm doing. And let's see, I want to kind of take up the bottom half of the phone. So, actually, I'm going to take up, I'm going to go ahead and actually stretch it out a little bit. So that looks pretty cool, but. Uh, I want to stretch it out. You can do, you know, diff different things to it. I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit. And then we've got our T-Rex flying our uh, airplane. We've got a T-Rex flying our bomber here. Uh, I'm going to add some text to it. So let's go ahead and add some text. A little bit of dynamite. Um, and I like that font. That's a good font. Uh, and then make it bigger. Boom. And now it's, if we add text, uh, what we need to do is convert that text into outlines. Um, and the way that we do that is first select the text, so we have a box around the text, and then we're going to right click or control click on the text and then we're going to say create outlines and you can see that it created outlines around the text uh, now we're pretty much ready to go uh, we're looking at our uh, template here uh, this image will etch really well um, Basically, you need to save this file as your first name, underscore, your last name, uh, and then go ahead and upload it to the Jackbax Dropbox, which is at www.jackbax.com slash upload. Uh, and it should etch really well. Uh, okay, so there you have it. Uh, just go ahead and upload your template to the Jackbox Dropbox. If for some reason you can't get it to work, you can always email me the template um, at adam at jackbox.com. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, leave them on the video uh, in, in the comments section and I will answer them there. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.